If you could open your mouth and just utter a word of praise and worship to the Lord for two minutes, 120 seconds, we honor your name, Lord, to you be the praise, to you alone are the worship, to you alone the adoration. There is no other beside you. You reign in a majesty. You reign in a glory. You reign in splendor. You reign with dominion. You reign higher above all. You reign with justice. You reign in righteousness. For righteousness, O oh Lord. Justice and righteousness are the foundation of your throne. We worship you this day. We honor your name. We glorify you in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. We worship the King of Israel. We worship you, the Lord. We worship you, the highest of them all. We worship you, the sure foundation. We worship you. For another 60 seconds, just open up your mouth and utter word of worship. To you alone, a bit of praise. We say we worship you. We say we honor your name. We say we adore you. There is no other beside you, O God. You alone are worthy. You alone are mighty. We worship you. We adore you. For you be the praise. For you be the glory. For you be the power. For you be the adoration. There is no one like you, O God. Praise to you. Worship to you. Glory, 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 glory. In the name of Jesus, we say thank you, Lord. To you be the praise. We honor your name. In the name of Jesus. Glory to you. 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 In the name of Jesus, we worship you, we adore you, we give you praise. Please give me Psalms 28. To you be the praise, to you be the glory. There is no other beside you worthy of worship, worthy of adoration, worthy of thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus, there is no other beside you. To you alone be the praise, to you alone be the worship. To you be the power, O oh God. There is no other God beside you. To you alone be the praise. To you be the worship. To you be the adoration. O oh, thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. This morning, Lord, we come into you, hear prayer. For your eyes are upon the righteous. Your ears are open to their prayers. You are the Lord and near to all who call upon you. To all who call upon you in truth. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination before you, but the prayer of the upright, it is your delight. We ask you this morning by prayer that, Lord, you may hear us. You may hear our heart cry. You may hear our supplication. You may hear our petition. We may see answers, O oh God, that your name alone be praised. For you are the God who hear prayer. You are the God who answer prayer. To you alone be the praise. To you alone be the worship. To you alone be the adoration. Hear our prayer this morning. Hear our cry this morning. To you alone be the praise. Oh, you hear prayer. To you all flesh will come. So we have come this morning. Hear our prayers. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Please have a seat. 
your seat for a few minutes. Let's look at this uh, scripture yours. I'm sitting there because I did some pressing it in my heart. Let's read this one first because we proceed with the prayers. Uh, Psalms 28, verse 1, Psalm of David. It says, to you I will cry, O Lord, my rock. Do not be silent to me, lest if you are silent to me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Hallelujah. Before we read verse 2, verse 1, O oh Lord, my rock, denoting his faith in the power of God, that God is able, will not fail in the name of Jesus. Do not be silent to me, lest if you are silent to me, I become like those who go down to the pit to indicate the state of distress, of desperation that David is in, crying out to God as his only option for help. And if there is no help from God, he becomes like those who go to down to the pit. He becomes like those who just be taken to the grave because there is no any other help from anywhere else. In the name of Jesus. The verse 3, we sang earlier in the song that if uh, verse 3, no one, what does verse 3 again say? If no one I know can help, I am all alone, and I call on you, you will never fail. You hear the verse 3 song we just sang here shortly in the name of Jesus. He's in that place of desperation. Do not be silent to me, lest if you are silent to me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Hallelujah. What is the state of what you are trusting all your life and whatever you are trusting God? If God doesn't come, is there something in your life? If God does not come, there is no help from anywhere else. If you are that person, say amen. If there is no help from anywhere else, Lord, in this matter is only you. The doctor can't help. My work can't help. My connection cannot help. I cry out to you. Do not be silent to me. Lest if you are silent to me, I become like those who go down to the pit. It is a cry of desperation. Hallelujah. It is a cry of desperation. You are in a distress. You are in a desperate situation. It's like you are sinking and crying out, Lord, your help. And if there is no help from God, there is no help from anywhere else. Hallelujah. Verse 2. Now with that, in back, uh, with, with that background, verse 2 says, Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry out to you, when I lift up my hands toward your holy sanctuary. Hallelujah. When the, the, we, we all study supplication, as we have done before and taught about in the, in the past, I don't know, maybe three or four years ago, on the types of prayer, there are different kinds of prayer. Hallelujah. Praying, uh, Ephesians 6, 18 says, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, meaning all kind of prayer. There is a prayer in the Bible called supplication. For the only one screen working today. There is one uh, prayer in the Bible called supplication. Hallelujah. When you are, in, you are in a place of desperation, where there is no help from anywhere else, and if God does not come, you become like those who go down to the pit. By that time, the prayer becomes supplication. Meaning there is no alternative solution. You are my only option. Hallelujah. 
You are my only option. Then the prayer becomes supplication. Meaning if the Lord does not come, there is no help from anywhere else. The prayer becomes supplication. It is a petition from the heart of a person who is in a desperate need for help. Crying out to God who is able, having resources, capacity, available at the disposal. By that time, the prayer becomes supplication. Hallelujah. By that time. Nowadays, sometimes it's difficult. Oh, I must remember. It's difficult to reach that place. Why? Because you know if God doesn't come through, you're going to use the credit card. If God doesn't come through, you're going to call your auntie in Durban is going to help. If God doesn't, you have already an alternative solution to your supply. But have you reached a point where there is no any other help from anywhere else? The doctor can't. The doctor can only give you medication to manage the situation. But when you need help from God, it means, Lord, the doctor can't help. I know I can go to the doctor, but this matter, the doctor can't help. This situation, my auntie in Dublin cannot help. You are my only option. When I have reached that level, my prayer now is supplication. It is a petition to God from somebody who is in a desperate need for help, crying to God who has the capacity to help. In the name of Jesus then the prayer, it is supplication. Hallelujah. This teaching just come from here as we are singing. So if it's not, wherever it's, if it's too hot, it's because it just came from the oven. In the name of Jesus. The picture I want you to have, you are in a desperate need for help. Crying out to God to assist. And if God cannot help you. There is no help from anywhere else. Hallelujah. Then the prayer becomes supplication. Hear the voice of my supplication. And the version will say my petition. It is a deep cry to the Lord. That's why we insisted on verse 1. Do not be silent to me. For if you are silent to me, I become like those who go down to the in the name of Jesus. Many years ago, there is a wonderful people we used to pray with. They reached a point where they were retrenched and the husband and the wives later on also after maybe a year or two was retrenched. And you know these things of having a house, you must pay for 20 years, for 30 years. Only when you retire, then they say their house is yours. Then other things you can't do because the source of income is closed. You have retired. Hallelujah. The capitalist system is a wicked system. Hallelujah. That's why they say people, uh, if it's only salary, it's fine. It can be number one. By God's grace, trust God. Let there be another source of income. Another one source of income. Hallelujah. Even up to seven. Because this system makes you work the whole of your life. Only when you are done, then you have a house. Hallelujah. Does it mean we came to earth just to own a house? Hallelujah. I am saying this to challenge because also I'm working. Tomorrow I'm going to work. Amen. Is to create an uh, anger. That's the word I'm looking for. Within you to begin to trust God for another opening, for something else, for his empowerment as Deuteronomy says, 28, uh, Deuteronomy 8, 18. His empowerment that comes, it is him who gives you the power to get to us. But when you are praying that there is the last part that he may establish his covenant. What is the heart of God in that covenant? I am partnering with you, Lord, sincerely. As a result, his empowerment come because you become now a trusted vessel in the name of Jesus for his empowerment to be able to rise and dominate. 
Father, why we will pray, we will speak in tongues, we will prophesy. But when you read 65, 70, I only have a house in my name and this car. By that time, it's no longer a brand new car. Then I have retired. Amen. Then the government now is giving me the uh, pension the way I work. I'm thinking it's the government. No, it's because when I was working, they know I can't save for when I'm too old, so they force me to save, and they put a law, making sure the employer can strike that money before it gets into your account. Because globally, only 2% of the population have the capacity to save until retirement, so that you don't become a problem to the government when we are old. So they put a law and force us and say, your employer, you, you take all of this money out of this gentleman and this lady and put it in the pension fund or re retirement fund. We will give it to them when they are 63, 65, bit by bit, so that they are not a burden on the system. Hallelujah. Please, you are t that's the reality. Amen. So with that reality in mind, I don't know if does this not bother you, that Lord, these things can't be. What is the other aspect of, from the realm of the spirit that can empower an individual to rise above this system that is a way we just go in like that. And when it's a third of the month, you wonder, where is this money gone to? Oh, it doesn't happen to you. Hi, ah, your money, you will reach 29. You are getting the last money, salary for last month is still in your account. Now you are getting another one. Hallelujah. Are there such people? Eh? Hallelujah. That's how why we cry. Amen. And I always cry here to you, partner with God in that aspect, so that is beyond. Partner with God in so that it is beyond that. Hallelujah. But if you are comfortable like that when you are 65, you'll have a house and a car, and your children will help you, and there is fine. But I'm saying to the people where it, that thing is bothering you. Hallelujah. When we are exposed, our parent or grandparent may not have known the truth. There is nothing wrong. We bless the Lord. We do support them. But you have been exposed to the truth at the early age or at the 20s, 30s, and whatever. It must give you, especially now when our body do have energy, what else? Hallelujah. I was saying this because I mentioned that case. Let me go now to that case. Now we cry because at that late time, and the house that have been covered maybe for, by that time, I don't know, 12 or 15 years, so they are left with maybe two years or whatever there. But the house now has to be taken because there is no money to pay. Hallelujah. By that time, the prayer became supplication so that God intervened and miraculously provided for the house to be saved and for not to be auctioned so that they recover and pay whatever the arrears were, and to save the house. By that time, the prayer was supplication. Hallelujah. There is no any other source or alternative supply in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If everything is hot, they are flowing as we are flowing in Jesus. Oh, they put for us the scripture there. Mm, let me read them. Since it is there, we come back to Psalm 1. You shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get what? Power. Efficiency. Power to get efficiency, to get wealth. It doesn't stop there where most believers, they end it. The second part is the critical part to the Lord, not the first part. That he may, after coma, that he may do what? Not your covenant. His covenant. Oh. His covenant, which he saw 
to your fathers as it is this day. His covenant, and when we talk about the other child, his covenant to your father there, meaning Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He made a covenant with Abraham. He renewed it with Isaac and confirmed the promises of that covenant with Jacob. Made covenant with Abraham, Genesis chapter 12, 15, 17, 22. He renewed that covenant with Isaac, Genesis 26. He confirmed the promises of that covenant to Jacob, Genesis 28. There is one line in that covenant that says, in your seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Galatians 3 says that seed, it is Jesus Christ. To show us that when God empower you, it include you participating that this agenda reach, continue until Jesus the Messiah return. There are many lives who don't know. They cannot go to church. They have not heard of church. But this gospel must be preached then the end will come. Are you willing to say, Lord, I am one of the partners? So that your covenant is established even in our time, in the next generation. Here I am as a vassal. Lord, I want to partner with you. I don't want only the first part. The key is the second part. Oh, this is the huge one. In the name of Jesus. And God in our Whatever where we are has shown us mercy. My wife and I, one day we shall go to the Father. And it is his mercy. So now let's leave it there. Let's go to Genesis 20. Uh, where were we reading? Where were we reading? So we pray and go to God. Hear the voice of my supplication when I cry to you, when I lift up my hands toward your holy sanctuary. That was your street. Hallelujah. Let's jump to verse 6 and 7. Then we begin. So this psalm now is about rejoicing and answered prayer. You understand verse 1. You understand verse 2. Verse 6. Blessed be the Lord. Because he has heard. Past tense. The voice of what? My supplication. When did he make supplication? Verse 2. Hallelujah. There you say, hear the voice of my supplication. Here is rejoicing that God has heard the voice of his supplication. May the Lord hear today the voice of your supplication. Verse 7, lastly. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted, past tense, in him. And I am helped, past tense. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices, and with my song, I will praise him. Testifying that the Lord heard and responded in Jesus' name. May the Lord hear your prayer, your supplication today. May the Lord respond to your heart cry in the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Glory to the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. That is already the word. There will be no any other preaching. Let's do the prayers in the name of Jesus. Go and meditate on those. Uh, by God's grace, that Deuteronomy, I don't know if it's in May or June, whenever God has, that has been impressing, comes again. Who will bring it? Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I want us uh, to pray. Like I want to read the scripture for our prayer number one. Number one, number two. Oh, please, let your heart be in it. In the name of Jesus. Number one, we just want to appreciate God and say thank you. Psalms uh, 105 and verse number one. It says, oh, give thanks to the Lord. Hallelujah. We want to begin by saying thank you to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. In the name of Jesus. Our prayer number one is a prayer of thanksgiving. Let us say thank you to the Lord. All the prayer here, 
get an impression from the Lord in the week. Sometimes we move ahead on trusting God for things that are, we, are, we want to manifest, but we have not returned and said thank you for what has happened. Hallelujah. Hence, we are starting our prayer by saying thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for sustaining my life throughout the month of February in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The prayer on the screen, if you can put it up there, let us receive the prayer. You, um, you uh, rise up on your feet as we receive this prayer in the name of Jesus. Prayer number one, and shortly we do prayer number three. Number two, hmm. for three minutes or four minutes, please saying thank you to the Lord in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. Even our children, all we are praying. I like my preacher. We must teach again <laughs> this thing in the name of Jesus. Amen. There is a video the uh, mother sent me is leading prayer or demonstrating how we do destiny prayer in their house. Oh, hallelujah. And I love it in the name of Jesus. Amen. So they take this when they are at home, they take also the mic and they begin to lead the same prayer in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's a privilege. Personally, I didn't have that privilege until already mid-twenties. Hallelujah. Because we grew up, we just pray like this. Lord, it's so here, especially here. What about here and there? In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That's how we grew up, and, I, and then you repeat uh, uh, our Father that, that is of in heaven. You repeat the Lord's Prayer maybe four times, five times, and we are done. Hallelujah. Until the life of God shone on us in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. My God, thank you for sustaining my life, my family, Revival House. Throughout the month of February, in the name of Jesus. One more time. Oh, Lord, my God, thank you for sustaining my life, my family, Revival House. Throughout the month of February, in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and make the prayer of thanksgiving. Father, in the name of Jesus, we say thank you. Thank you this day, oh God. In the name of Jesus, the resurrected Lord, to you be the praiser, to you be the worshiper. We come to say thank you, Lord. We come to say thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, thank you for sustaining us. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, we give you the praise and we give you the glory. Remando sakara pakata. Repekete pakata yasata. Ramando koto pekete sikata pakata. Repekete kete pakata pakata. Rakoto kete yasiataba. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We give you the praise and we give you the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ramande katapa kata. Rekete akataba. Rakoto si kataba. We come to say thank you. We give thanks to you, O God. We give thanks to the Lord. For you are good. Your mercy endures forever. Thank you for sustaining my life, my family, your work here, O Lord, throughout the month of February. In the name of Jesus, to you alone be the praise. To you alone be the worshiper. To you alone be the adoration. To you alone be the thanksgiving. Thank you, O God, for the gift of life. Thank you. Oh God, for the preservation of our lives. Thank you, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. To you be the praise. To you be the worshiper. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the breath. Thank you for all things. Thank you for all goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your preservation. In the month of February, you preserve my life. You sustain my life. You preserve my life. You 
provided for my life. You sustained my life. You provided for my family. To you be the praise. To you be the worshiper. To you be the adoration. There is no God like you, O God. Makoto Saka. Repekete Pakata. Yekere Asiya Tapakarato. Repekete Pakata. Rapakato. Eketepa. Yama Mando Sipa Papa Papa. Re Yatata Sato. We say thank you. Thank you for provision. Thank you for preservation. Thank you for strength in our bodies. Thank you for some mind. Thank you for retentive memory. Thank you for taking us to school. Thank you for provision for our children's studies. Thank you for provision for our children upkeep. To you be the praise. To you be the worshiper. To you be the adoration. In the name of Jesus. Maro Santa Katebakata. Repeketeva, Makuruya Sataba, Repeketeva Kata, Yekiriviria Sia Tababa, Randa Koto Keteva, Yekiriviria Sataba, Rapa Koto Pakata, Repekete Pakete, Rapa Kata Pakato, Repekete Pakata. We say thank you in the name of Jesus. For you be the praise, for you be the worship, for you be the adoration in the name of Jesus. Glory. I give you praise. After this prayer, second prayer. Mm. Glory to the Lord. Our second prayer. Oh, I want you to spend time in this. Let it be your supplication before the Lord in the name of Jesus. First Chronicles. Chronicles. Where are you? First Chronicles. Gonna read two verses, uh, two passages in Chronicle, and we're gonna jump to Act as well. In the name of Jesus, give you praise. Maybe the verse ten. If you go to verse ten, please. Therefore, David blessed the Lord before all the assembly, and David said, "Blessed are you, Lord God of Israel, our Father, forever and ever." Verse eleven. Yours, O Lord is the greatness, the power and the glory, the victory and the majesty for all that is in heaven and in earth is yours. Hallelujah. Everything in, in heaven on earth belongs to him. Are you hearing the prayer of David? That, uh, yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head over all. Both riches and honor come from you. Hmm. Riches and honor come from God. And you reign over all. In your hand is power and might. In your hand is to make great. If you want to be lifted, there is a lifter of men called Jehovah God because in his hand he is to make great. He has the capacity to make somebody great and to give strength to all. Verse 13 and now, therefore, our God, we thank you and praise your glorious name, which we have just done here, but it's also thanking God. 14, where we were going. But who am I and who are my people that we should be able to offer so willingly as this? For all things come from you. How many things? For all things come from you. And of, of your own, we have given you. Now, let's read quickly Act. Uh, 17 verse 25. No, his worship, meaning God, with man's hand as though he needed anything. Since he, God, gives to all life and breath and all things. How many things? All things in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Let it be a cry of desperation. Whatever that is needed for your life in this month, in this March, may we receive from the hand of God by faith as we pray. Let the Lord be the provider. Let the Lord be your sustainer. Let the Lord be your preserver. Let the Lord be your source in this month in the name of Jesus. Let us receive the prayer. For this prayer is born in Father, in Jesus' name, oh, pull it up for us there. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, we receive from your hand all things needed in this month for our lives, for our families, 
for revival house in the name of Jesus. Are you hearing the prayer? Oh Lord, if we receive from your hand all things needed in this month for our lives, for our families, for revival house in the name of Jesus. Lastly, we emphasize now on those four things. You can can I have many of those? I'm just highlighting as it is in red there that you can't miss those as you add more as per your need in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, oh Lord, we receive from your hand all things, direction, provision, restoration, preservation needed in this month for my life, for my family, for revival house. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, to you be the praise, to you be the worship, to you be the adoration. Makoropekete pakata, repekete sakata pakato, remando sakata pakata, repekete pakaraya satababa, yakoro satakata, repekete koto, rapakata pekete, repakata pakato, repekete pakata, rapakato pekete, repakata pakato, Repekete pakata, repakasa kata pakato, rekete yasia tapa, rapakata kete pakata, remando kotopa. In the name of Jesus, we receive, O oh God, from your hand, O oh God, we receive direction. Let us not walk blind. We receive direction. We receive provision. There shall be no lack. There shall be no wanting. In the month of March, in the name of Jesus, we receive today from the hand of God, restoration of God, restoration of God, whatever the enemy has blocked, whatever the enemy has stolen that you have destined for our lives, we pray in the month of March, oh God, restoration, 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 Lord, preservation Lord, preservation Lord, preservation Lord, my home make it a riakata pakato, repekete pakata yekeriberia sataba rakoto koto yekete kataba rapakato koto rekete kete pakata repakata pakato repekete pakata repakata pakato Lord, remember, remember my life, in this month of God, I pray for direction, I pray for provision, I pray for restoration, I pray Lord, for your preservation in the name of Jesus, to you be the praise, to you be the worship, to you be the adoration, to you be the thanksgiving, there is no God like you, higher above all people, let the preservation, let the provision, let the direction, let the sustenance in the month of March we lift up your name and call upon you on behalf of our lives, on behalf of our families, on behalf of Revival House for the month of March. Visit us, my God. Visit us, my King. Visit us, my Lord. Visit us, my Master. Visit us, my Redeemer. My Redeemer lives. My Redeemer lives lives and my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory in a class of Jesus oh pa 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 supply 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 for the month of March, let her be supplied. My hand lifted to you, my King, to you, my God, to you, the honor. Silver is yours, gold is yours. Pakorosa takata, repekete pakata, rapakato pakata, repekete pakata, rapakato pekete, ripakata pakata. A kettle, Lord, on a thousand years. Hills that belongs to you, and the hills itself. <laughs> For the earth is the Lord, and His fullness thereof, the world, and they that dwell therein. 
everything is yours. What is in heaven is yours. What is on earth is yours. You are the owner of all. To you we have come. That the year's prayer. To you we come, O oh God. And I pray for direction. Give us direction, Lord. Give us direction, Lord. May we not walk blind. May we hear your voice, uh, the audible voice, uh, the impression in our heart, uh, dreams uh, by the Holy Spirit, vision by the Holy Spirit, trances by the Holy Spirit, communication, oh God, giving us direction, communication, leadings, impression, witnesses in the name of Jesus. To you be the praise of for to you be the praise. Let us be provision, Lord. Provision, Lord. Provision, provision, provision. Restoration from the Lord. Preservation, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Almighty God, into our lives. That in this month, Lord, we look toward you by prayer, by supplication to the God who hears us prayer. Grant us direction. We pray for provision from the Lord into our lives, into our homes, into this house. In the name of Jesus, we pray for restoration into our lives, into this house. In the name of Jesus. We pray for preservation of our lives by the Lord, preservation of our families, preservation of this house in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, we say thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, for you be the praise, for you be the worship, in the name of Jesus. Mm. Glory to the Lord, in the name of Jesus. Mm. Yes, Lord. Forever more. Yes, Lord. Thank you for preservation. Thank you for restoration. In the name of Jesus. Whatever that the enemy has stolen, the enemy has blocked, the opportunities that fell flat at the age of breakthrough, we cry out to the God of Israel for divine restoration in the lives of his people. Lord, I pray you now for divine restoration in the lives of your people. Divine restoration, Lord, in your work here at the Revival House. Hear my supplication at your altar. Let there be, oh God, divine restoration in the lives of your people. The opportunity that fell flat at the age of their breakthrough. I appeal to the God of Jeshua who ride upon the heavens to have I pray for divine restoration in the name of Jesus in the lives of your people. Divine restoration. Divine restoration into your work at the revival house in the name of Jesus. Divine restoration, Lord, in a better quantity, in a better quality, and of a better kind. God of heaven hear. God of heaven respond. In the name of Jesus, I give you praise, glory. Mm. I'm going to pray that one again. The last prayer, I want to do that prayer after we, are uh, we have taken the communion. Be ready for communion. Father, in the name of Jesus, we declare this communion bread, communion juice, here now sanctify. In the name of Jesus, we are not taking this religious. As you brought the impression of the old Hebrews 12, 24. We are not taking this law religiously. I pray in the name of Jesus that this token is sanctified now. I pray in the name of Jesus as they represent the body of Jesus Christ, as they represent the blood shed on the cross of Calvary for the remission of our sins, as these tokens represent the new covenant, O oh God, that you have ushered us into through Christ Jesus our Lord. So we pray as these tokens, elements, 
of communion enters our bodies, anything in anybody's body that my Father in heaven has not planted in them, let those things be rooted out. Somebody say amen. Anything, again, that the Lord, my God, my Father in heaven, has not planted in your body, as this element enters your body, may those things live in Jesus' name. Any growth in anyone's system, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, that the doctor shall confirm. The growth in the home to melt now in the name of Jesus. Let it melt now. Let it melt now. Let it melt now by the power in the name of Jesus. Any disorder in anybody's body, back pain, any back pain, any place in the in the internal part of in your internal system, any oh, organ in your internal system, now as I speak. That is not functioning as intended and ordained by Elohim. By the power in the name of Jesus, they resurrected the Lord. As this element enter your life by faith, may healing break forth now. May healing break forth now in the name of Jesus. Whatever in your system, respiratory system, anything in your stomach, in your lungs, anything that is growing in the body, whatever the name is, we command it here now by the power in the name of Jesus. Let there be healing, 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 healing in the name of Jesus. May the Lord heal your body. Let there be wholeness in the body by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, as we partake of this, in Jesus' name, come and partake this quickly, as quickly as you can, please. With that understanding, forevermore, I give you praise, forevermore. I give you praise forevermore. Father, I, I give you praise forevermore. I give you praise forevermore. Father, I give you praise forevermore. Hebrews 12, 24. Forevermore to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. These are symbolizing the new covenant, this token that we are about to partake now. To Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than that of Abel. Hallelujah. We read earlier on, my wife brought that scripture in Genesis chapter 4. God is saying to Cain, what have you done? Oh, 
the voice of your blood, your brother's blood is crying unto me from the ground. Why? Because the blood does speak in the name of Jesus. And in any other covenant, the blood speaks, even evil blood do speak. But with the understanding of how powerful the blood of Jesus is, we're going to pray, let the whatever speaking against your life be silenced by the power in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm explaining here, we understand the first part before partaking of the communion, I'm explaining here, and so we can pray this prayer in the name of Jesus here on the screen, if you can put for us. We will pray that every covenant speaking against my life, every time when we're preparing for communion, always find from the Lord what are you saying, so that we don't do it religiously. And there are times, sometimes we, we have skipped and not have holy communion service because the impression of the focus of that communion did not come. So we don't want just to come and partake of this because we can drink juice or biscuits at home. But we don't want to just take them like that. And the impression was coming is this, the scripture. Hallelujah. And when you put this, and when we pray, maybe in the evening yesterday, and, and put this as it has been in the week. And then we pray in the evening later. We slept. We woke up in the midnight prayer. My wife and I for our prayer time. And we were praying. And then we slept. Now in that sleeping, I'm having now an encounter. A visionary. A vision of the man. Or a dream of the man. I am stammering. And I see they are accusing somebody. But the person knows what they are accusing them against is not sin. Hallelujah. And the, the dream transition, even the same dream, it transition. You know, dreams sometimes it has episode. Still the, still the same character, then it's transition. And the one who was speaking with me, I've said to you, when you have those dreams like that, you read the prophetic books so that you can align and know that why is somebody speaking to me. The one speaking to me gave me a knife, a sharp knife. And I start cutting. All I can see is blood. So I don't know whatever creatures that they have used. So me, I'm cutting those in pieces. And this is aligned. Hallelujah. This is a continuation from the accusation. It's a transition now into this. And I am chopping and chopping. And the voice says, if this knife is not enough, then we have another knife, a bigger one. And I knew in the, in the dream that he's speaking. If you have seen at the, at, the, at the butchery, they have another one like this. And you can hang. It's so sharp. It can cut even bones. So when he's saying I, in, uh, my understanding and the knowing while in the vision, say that, yes, if that part also can be given to me, if what I am using here now cannot chop some of this other part in the name of Jesus. And the dream now transition, episode three, still with the same character. Now we are leaving that place. Hallelujah. So when I wake up, I understood whatever they representing, they can, the other sacrifice that have created the covenant that are speaking, but there is a blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel or any other blood. Hallelujah. That's why when we partake of this, that is the prayer. My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, I ask every covenant speaking against my life and destiny, be silenced when? Today, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Somebody hear it. And it shall be so. I pray may the Lord confirm. We're not here, even in the dreams as you sleep. May the Lord confirm what this prayer who is about to do in the name of Jesus. Let's partake of this when we receive the prayer point. Has received the prayer and pray in line with this.
Hallelujah. My Father, my God. My Father, my God. In the name of Jesus, I ask every covenant speaking against my life and destiny be silenced today by the power in the blood of Jesus. My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, I ask every covenant speaking against my life and destiny be silenced today by the power in the blood of Jesus. One more time, my Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, I ask every covenant speaking against my life and destiny be silenced today by the power in the blood of Jesus. Please pray that prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, any speaking Lord from the bloodline, be silenced today by the power in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, your son, Lord. In the name of, by faith, we decree and declare, Lord, as we cry at the show, any other voice uh, speaking against your people, speaking against your house, uh, any accusation uh, against any life, uh, against any destiny, here today, by the power, by the power, by the power in the blood, by the power in the blood, by the power in the blood, let the speaking be silence, law, be silence, law, be silence, law, be silence now by the power, pakata pakata, repekete pakata, sata, whatever was raised as a witchcraft point of contact, oh God, against a destiny here today by the power in the blood of Jesus. May that be silenced now. 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 Every speaking from the bloodline, from the bloodline against destiny in a cross Jesus. Be silenced now. Be silenced now by the power in the blood of Jesus, by the power, Lord, in the blood of Jesus, Jesus, oh God, by the power in the blood of Jesus, uh, your son, Lord, by the power in the blood, let every voice be silenced, uh, negative voice, uh, evil voice, uh, evil pronouncement, evil decree, witchcraft voices, wizardry voices, occultic voices, enchantment uh, of the witchcraft Covenant, be silenced now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Be silenced now. Be silenced now. Be silenced now. Be silenced now. Bakoro pakata, repekete pa, rapakata pa, yepekete pa, rapakato, rekata si pa, pa 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 pa, repepepe. We declare, Lord, every sacrifice, evil sacrifice, raise or go against our lives against our destiny. Today, be silence. Today, be silence. Today, be silent by the power in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray every speaking, every pronouncement, every evil covenant, demonic contract, that have followed bloodlines. We ask you today, may they be silenced against our lives, against our destinies. In the name of Jesus, today I pray by the power in the name of Jesus, by the power in the blood of Jesus, let every evil speaking pronounce man decree enchantment against this house, against your people. Oh God, every plotting against your people, against this house, now be rendered, null and void, be brought now into total defeat, total defeat. Every plotting 
against any life here, every blood team against revival heart, we bring them now into total defeat, into total failure, total defeat, total failure by the power in the name of Jesus. We declare the voices of evil blood to be silenced by the speaking of the blood of Jesus. Be silenced by the speaking of the blood of Jesus. Be silenced by the speaking of the blood of Jesus. Be silenced by the speaking of the blood of Jesus. Be silenced by the speaking of the come close. Be silenced, Lord, by the speaking of the blood of Jesus. Be cancel, Lord, by the speaking of the blood of Jesus. Be cancel, Lord, by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every speaking, every speaking, be silenced, Lord, by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every sacrifice raised, O oh God, to frustrate this life, to frustrate destiny. Let those sacrifices be nullified now, 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 by the speaking of the blood of Jesus, by the speaking of the blood of Jesus, by the speaking of the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Jesus' name, we commit this life before you. Anything that my heavenly Father has not planted in this body, now by the power of the Holy Spirit, we command it to live in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare wholeness in this body from the crown of this head to the soles of this feet. Let there be healing. Let there be order, divine order, divine order, divine order by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Divine order in this system. Divine order from the crown of this head, Lord, from the soles of this feet. Anything that the God of in heaven has not planted, we command it out now in the name of Jesus. I pray for wholeness in this life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Rakoto Pekete. To your hand as you are receiving, if you can go back to prayer number two. That's what I am praying here in your hand in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray upon every hand here open in the name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit. They are receiving. You are not receiving from pastor. You are receiving from the Lord. The hand and your faith are raised and are open to God in heaven who owns everything in heaven, who owns everything on earth. The landlord of the entire universe, the earth is the Lord and its fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. So everything belongs to the Lord. We are asking now to God of heaven, I'm standing in the gap on your behalf as the priest over this house. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, let there be a release into this hand that are open unto you. And let there be a release into this heart that their faith are lifted unto you. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, their lives are needing direction. I pray may there be a release from heaven into their lives of 
direct or direction in the name of Jesus. I pray let there be a release into their lives of provision from the Lord in the name of Jesus. Provision from the Lord. Give us this day our daily bread. Bread needed throughout the month of March 2024. Let there be a release. Let there be a supply in the name of Jesus. Let there be a release for their upkeep by the power in the name of Jesus, Son of the living God. Anybody here in our midst that the devil has stolen, has blocked opportunity from materializing into your life. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, for recovery and restoration into their lives, oh God, in a manner that their heart are pacified in better quantity, in a better quality, and of a better kind. I pray now, Lord, restoration into this life. Bakarapakato, pekete pakata, riasatakato, repekete, ramanda kotopakata, restoration, oh God, in a better quantity, in a better quality, and of a better kind, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, divine restoration, law, divine restoration, law, divine restoration, law, into this hand, into this lines, in the name of Jesus, I pray, oh God, by the power of the Holy Ghost, Pakara Sikatapa, Repekete Ibanati, Kerepakato Kata, Repekete Pakato, Rapakata Pekete Yasikata, Yakoto, Rakata Pekete. Iba Ibanat Rapakoto Repekete Rapakata Pakato Yekeria Siata Papa Papa Ramanda Koto Pakata Rekete Asiakata in the name of Jesus the resurrected Lord. I pray Almighty God for supernatural provision that will create a way for the rising of this destiny. As you have spoken, O God, we release O God supernatural provision. In the name of Jesus, supernatural provision in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, we give you the praise and we give you the glory. Quickly, Pakorosara, in the name of Jesus. Glory, I pray. As I am praying for Eva, you bring this face as well. I pray for supernatural provision. Lord, your study, further studies, university studies with ease because of supernatural provision. I pray, oh God, that the doors will open for supernatural provision, supernatural supply, that the life of Zui will do studies with ease, with ease, with ease. Lord, may you back up this prayer, this word, oh God. Let there be supply to do work, to do studies with ease. In the name of Jesus, so you be the praise. I pray that you preserve lives and destiny. You preserve lives and destiny, oh God, against sin. Preserve them against the attack of the evil one. Preserve them against the wicked, the wicked and their wickedness. Preserve the opportunity that you have released, oh God. Let them manifest into their lives in Jesus' name. Preserve their hope. Preserve their lives throughout the month of March 2024. We decree and declare preservation from the Lord. Father, we say thank you for we have received from your hand all things needed for our lives for this month of March in terms of direction, in terms of provision, in terms of restoration, in terms of preservation, and any other area, Lord, and whatever is needed, we receive from your hand in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of God, the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, we receive from the hand of God provision we receive from the hand of God direction. We receive from the hand of God restoration. We receive from the hand of God preservation. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord. I give you praise. I give you glory. Somebody shout amen three times. Hallelujah.